this? Oh shit! Maybe. Oh, you got got oh, you took my God is up. right. Welcome back, everybody. This is Bob. We got John over yeah, here. Yeah, what's going on, man? Talking about more memories. More so memories. So glad you are here. And we are here. Actually, we're not going to talk about memories right now. I got a question for John. Yeah. Oh, John. John. Yes. What is everybody supposed to do right now? I didn't coach John before this. What is everyone supposed to do before right now? Like, go Thumb, give the video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yes. Okay. Now, now. Right. that's a good segue into the question. Okay. It's really, it's not. What's the question, man? If you could travel in time, would it be to the future or the past? And when? I mean, you travel at any time. Would it be to the future? Here's the thing with the future that, that freaks me out. Is it's like I'm thinking of like like. Uh, well, we gotta turn. The, oh, sorry. Oh, that's sorry. what happened. Yeah, that's, that's technical was, difficulty. Technical difficulty. You go to the future, man. You don't know if like where there's gonna be a giant tree where you are. Like you don't know if you're gonna like okay. kind of. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean, what the hell? If, like, what if it's like a fucking war zone? What if mm. what if it's like it's an mm. in-hospital place and yes. just die really yes. fast? Yes. And I won't gain any knowledge. From yes. That. So. When I think about the past, like, you know, you, you have to be careful with that, too, because how far past are we going to go and what are we looking to obtain? So, like, I would say, and, and you know, you got to be careful. You don't want to get, like, burnt as a witch. You want to be able to communicate with the people that are there. You know, um, you have to survive. You have to find a way to make money, you know. Um, and, and you're not going to have, I don't know, you're knowledge i mean i guess you can write books or something about the future well well this know, is but... this isn't this isn't the terminator traveling back in, back in the past where you can only be flesh okay okay or you know no clothes or nothing you can actually bring a supply kit and modern technology back with you when modern technology yeah, you can bring like a like a backpack full of stuff so it's not the terminator time traveling ladies and gentlemen yeah if that were the case You'd want to like be and able to... you and you can. It's just like uh, traveling through sp you know space. You can uh, you know where the trees are. Just let's say. Okay. Okay. So we know where the trees are, <laughs> yeah. and, and we know and, and and it's where the future. It's like j just if you see the future, just knowing that's going to change it. So I would look at the past for insight into mm -hmm. certain things mm -hmm. that we're developing to find. I feel like that's where you can do the most positive uh, work. Yeah. Click on the thing again, man. On my screen. Oh. Yeah, crap okay. i was messed with the yeah, microphone no, that's, that's the second it. time yeah. homie uh so with that yeah i would go in the past and 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 then i'm thinking like what information can you click in yeah i was doing right. it um i thought having a conversation with plato would be interesting we're talking plato. socrates or like one of the great western philosophers okay uh, you know and then you know i i realized i probably would talk to jfk whoa 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 whoa, whoa. no so we get we're going to plato we want to go so, to plato. so okay. okay so so uh, so you're doing the bill and ted um uh, bogus journey on us so you're going back to see plato because remember they went to still go see plato the second time around right they brought plato to bill and ted bogus journey ladies and gentlemen john do you know anything about this movie? i do not this great this actually a movie thing. that's like the bible itself uh-huh Anyways, yeah. No, they hang out with Socrates, I think, actually. But Plato, okay. yeah, tell us about Plato. So he was at the Academy, right? Um, Plato? Yeah, but you know what, man? I, I'm trying to think, like, like with me, like, I, you know, JFK would be smarter than Plato. So you're going gonna to change it to JFK? I'm going to change it to JFK. All right, okay, we're, we're going to allow I, this change. I, I want to I know what it was gonna, what he was up to, what his, what his hopes were for the 1960s, okay. why they didn't materialize, like, so... And we can really, I don't know, I feel like okay. he might be able to get some valuable information about society from mm -hmm. him. You know, if I had to just pick a random person from history to mm -hmm. talk to. Um, I mean, because you'd want something from them. I mean, Timothy Leary would be an interesting guy to talk to, too, because you, mm -hmm. I feel like he would, like, grasp that we're from the future pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, he'd probably be, yeah, he maybe even Leary, because he would be able to have a coaching conversation. He'd be like, so what the hell's going on in 219? And he could talk about computers and filter bubbles and shit, and, like, yeah. he can, like, trip and write about it, and, like, I don't know. That'd be cool. How about I, you? I think I would go back and talk to my great-grandfather. And I would give him, uh, I would just would give him a, a, all the information. I would do the Biff Tannen. I would pull a Biff Tannen on his ass, dude. Oh, yeah. And I would just give him all the information up to this present moment and allow him to manipulate um, the future for our family's gain. So by the time I'm born, I'm born in, with a silver spoon in my mouth, buddy. Yeah. And I'm, uh, and that, you know. 
But you may not be you, man. You may have been a complete, you know, that could have made you soft. Like, with some of the unique traits that are reflected in what you value of the world, or at least determine yeah. in what Ooh, may not even have been there, changing, you know? Changing future you know, is tough. Yeah, because then, you know, be careful what you wish for. Maybe, yeah. you know. I might not even be born. Yeah, maybe or, I went too you far are back. Born, or you're just this this pussy that's like had everything catered to him his whole life oh, and yeah. is you know a big fuck up because if you know ever did the worst. Yeah, you, know, you know that guy that gets the uh, you know I, I knew I knew too. a guy that got a Pita Pit franchise for graduation oh. and there was a, a big uh, there was a big like drinking weekend at Penn State where like people came back but it was also the busiest weekend of the year for the restaurant. He uh, was in town at the bar and didn't even stop by the restaurant. And he was the 24-year-old owner. That was the kind of type of shit he would do. Yeah. At the busiest day of the year. Yeah, sounds about right. You know, because, you know, take away from his... Yeah, okay, so let's just say if I went back to a historical time. Let's uh, try not to be clever about it, huh? Well, I mean, that's the point um, of the exercise is to be clever about it. Historical time, I would probably... Man, it'd be like... Man, I'd almost want to go back to, like, South America and see, like, one of those, like, like the Mayans at their peak or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I'd be and, like, uh, yeah. Make sure they don't get well, uh, yeah, like, yeah, let's just say, like, I can, like, fit in or, or whatever. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. I, I know what you mean. Just to, like, forget the, like... Yeah, they, well, yeah, obviously I'm not going back with my pack of futuristic weapons. They're just going to, you know, automatically obsidian knife my throat, you know? So it's like, uh... No. No, yeah, let's just say I can go back and talk to them. Though. I would do that. I'd probably go back and like see the Mayans or one of those great cultures, or something like that. That's yeah, a noble goal. Yeah, well, yeah. you know th those cities uh, were actually much larger than the European uh, contemporary at the European time they cities. Were, yeah, so. they even had North American cities like around the Mississippi. No. Uh, they're. I think they just found a new one. Uh, man, I forget where the hell it was. Like Altamira or something. Yeah, Tennessee. There's yeah. there's a lot of cultures there. They just Car found one. Well, no, just recently though that that mm -hmm. that rivaled European. That was bigger than European. Uh, they have uh, accounts of uh, going in the, the the Amazon, you know, um, and, and and seeing millions of people, huge civilizations in a hundred years, uh, it being almost empty because mm -hmm. of smallpox. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, yeah. they're immune systems. The, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says how the most notable event in the history of human his, mm -hmm. uh, history was Columbus landing yeah. because of what it did to the the human body. Yeah. You know, Carl Sagan. One thing we're talking about this travel, time travel thing. He said the Library of Alexandria burnt down. And it is believed that if that event did not occur, by some estimations, we would have gone to the moon by the time of Columbus. Hmm. And, you know, what no, the knowledge that was lost there was so incredibly vast, it set our the entire species back hundreds of years. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So, like, you know, and it. I mean, I'd, I'd love to go back to a time period that oh, we yeah, didn't yeah, that, Okay, yeah, so like, that like would something be interesting that... to go back to the Library of Alexandria. So, so you brought up, yeah. uh, go back to our original question. Where would I want to travel? So that's very good. Yeah, uh, man. What, so like the Mayans, they knew about um, astronomy. They had they had formulas. They could predict mm -hmm. uh, eclipses. They and they, they, they knew they're very sophisticated. And and, and and yeah, and they might they might have had uh, techno. They, they might have understood um, like mushrooms and psychedelic experiences mm -hmm. much more. You know, they could they could have been experimenting for you know hundreds of thousands you know thousands of years. And have a lot of knowledge, which we have lost. And Pat, you, know, you can gain that knowledge. Yeah, and, and so that, that'd be yeah. interesting. And, and, you know, it seems like... Um, but all cultures, it seems like, had some type of psychedelic, you know, some, some type of shaman, you know, experience. And, and I bet, uh, you know, you go back to the times of Alexandria, mm -hmm. so like Egypt, I bet they had uh, psychedelic uh, rituals back then. I bet you they Yeah, and you'd have to kind of get... It'd be interesting to get the similarities in language. Like, um... You know, Christ in in like the Bible. You know, if if Christ had access access to modern neuroscience or certainly Christ's apostles, they would have used those insights to make their points. You know, if uh, if they they had known that like Prozac heals depression, they would have like added that in combination with their prayers and other things that they've done. Mm -hmm. So it's we kind of you know um, they say that like was it a pre rational civilization or was it like a different kind of rationality? You know. Um, Ken Wilber talks about it says that like um, when first you have like nomadic peoples and it's just kind of like a pagan um, society and then they kind of take on like a magic you know as this as like couple like crews get together you have a magical type of thinking but then when nation states form you start to get to like a mythic kind of thinking but it was only in the enlightenment era that rational thinking like emerged but like 
Western rational thinking. Western and combined, but of course, in addition to, like, the, the, the rational thinking of the East. So it's like, I don't know. It would just be really interesting how the Mayans would conceive of something like that. How sophisticated were they? Did they have, like, mathematics? Like yes, arts? they did. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah to build the pyramids, certainly, yeah, so I guess so. Oh, yeah, well, uh, well, astronomy it involves uh, pretty complex mathematics. Mm, they also had uh, metallurgy, don't forget. They had uh, all types of metal ob objects. They just uh, valued mm. uh, metal for different uh, reasons. And they did have wheels, by the way. They mm -hmm. have toys with wheels. Toys oh, of course. with wheels. Oh. Yeah, it's like that's one of the obvious things. So it's like it's not, it's not like they're uh, yeah. handicapped or anything. But it's it's so, so, so they, they appreciated yeah. those things for for different reasons, though. They didn't appreciate yeah. oh. metal for uh, a knife blade. They uh, you know they yeah. appreciated obsidian. Isn't this kind of an interesting scene though? Here we are, stone there in front of the pyramids. There you go. But it's a futuristic. You know, the, the spaceship could look like it's from the year ten thousand, but it's flying over the pyramids and some kind of weird. You know, trip. This is such a trippy game. Now, we'll talk about trippy. We're this just fighting cool. a random for, light switch. Thank here. you for uh, introducing me to this game. I, I had the, I had this game. Uh, uh, the physical copy sold it. I, I just played it uh, just for a couple minutes. Never really, uh, never really explored it. And this is this does look pretty cool. What the hell is that? Some type of yeah. It, it's a faucet. The only way to like <laughs> a faucet. Oh, it's the bonus game, and it has happy music to it. But like, yeah, the only way to like beat the mm -hmm. bosses is to get the um the the moon or the star because then you get uh, a powerful offense mm -hmm. and then my strategy was to get the shields and the way you get the shields is you have to like keep uh, shooting these bells in the air until they turn a certain color and there's a sequence of like upgrades you get but like when you uh -huh. get the, with the combination of the moon or a star shields and then enough blues to move your guy fast you're pretty invulnerable but where i get in a problem is if i die i'm back to being super slow and back to square one yeah that's the and problem then, with shooters yeah often and so uh that but then it's kind of fun because you i can still re you lose your power apps yeah i mean this is interesting this is this level i remember playing this level after school in third grade I have this real specific memory of it was winter. My mom was making uh, spaghetti. I can almost smell the spaghetti as I'm playing this right now. I remember yeah. there was a day I worked on this like all afternoon. This one level, I was getting so frustrated with it. It's a hard level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Looks like a good game. So this is top top down now. So it went yeah, from the kind of changes up on you. Yeah. I like it. Oh, and if you shoot him too much. And it has those bells, so you kind of is, yeah. You is gotta it, get the you gotta point keep the bells. Yeah, you gotta get the you, you have to get the bells, and you have to like keep them going enough to like that's kind of, that's while just cool while mechanic. not getting hit by these guys. What you is know? that? What, what man? What, what they're shooting at me from a million miles an hour here. It's kind of like Hogan's Alley. Yeah, how, yeah. how you get the barrels? Like you gotta keep the the barrels bouncing in Hogan's mm -hmm. Alley. I like that mechanic. Yeah, I'm in trouble right now though because so you gotta keep them. Bouncing I'm in danger of losing my shields, and yeah. once I lose my shields. Let's see. I gotta try to focus on this a little bit. Focus, my friend. Oh, oh telephones. Watch out for telephones. Telephones are. Yeah, oh, there it is. The oh, the I just. Salesman. I, They're trying I, to sell I, you I just, something. No, I just re upped my uh, my shields because I got a blinking one, so Dude. we're in good shape now. Here we go. Oh, TVs. Oh. No, no, no. Bad. Oh, Santa Claus. What are you being attacked by? Did, like, did all the appliances come to life? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's random. Yeah, random stuff. It, the game makes, like, no actual sense. Like, you uh, know, But here, uh. It's like some power took over the world and made all the appliances come to life it, like a brave little toaster it, scenario it is you know all i remember is those those uh telephones if you have shitty weapons uh -huh. you're powerless against oh, them oh jeez louise yeah it's worse that's why it took me that that afternoon that's why it took me all day because i had shitty weapons i had like a bunch of lives but mm -hmm. okay looks like you got Santa Santa. Oh, Santa. now i gotta think i think like you fight like a weird like toaster oven guy here Toaster of just like Brave Little Toaster. Speaking of the devil. What do we get? You know, or something or a safe or I don't know what the fuck. Oh, this guy is. means business. Oh yeah, but but I can I can move fast because I've been getting the blue things, so he can just I would recommend not off. to yeah. I could just be like Yeah, try motherfucker. Try to get me this Oh, what just happened? <gasps> How did I fucking die? Oh, we're in trouble now. Now, oh, we're, now, Lord. now, now I'm slow, and I just got this one gun, and one oh, hit kills me. Oh Lord! But you uh, won somehow. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have. There's no way I'm gonna pass this level now. Hey, but, but you don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Our, you know, you haven't played these games for a long time, so I'm not being hard on. Oh, you. oh wait, no. I think there's a moon actually here. I think they give you one if I can oh, get the cobras. Moon. 
No, no, hold on. The Cobras? I think there's a moon involved here. I get that I at least have offense again. I think it's this fucker right here. God, yes, like there's the moon. Oh, you missed. If I could get volleyballs. it. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, watch out for the volleyballs. No, at least I have some fucking offense, but I gotta be careful. Cause I have no defense. I'm not gonna get any fucking defense. So the best defense then is a good offense. Very cliche. Yeah, but very fucking Words sure. to grow on, yo. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck. I had to kill everything because this stuff will just shoot me. Alright, hold on. Okay, I just got one blue one, so I'm moving a little so faster at the, least. So, to go back to our original question. Okay, so. To focus laser like. Going back to the past. So, so we brought up some times of interest, possible in interest. Library. Of Alexandria. JFK assassination. Mayan peak of Mayan civilization. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh, I just got shields. We're in. We're in business. But I'm injured and cannot use my missiles. But that's okay. That's still a favorable outcome. It's just gonna be. Would you have any interest of going maybe thirty thousand years ago? Yeah, you know, maybe the dawn uh, of civilization. I can. Well, to see it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, first of all, would I even see any? I, I, I think of, like, realistic stuff. So I'm like, would I even see anyone? Like, where would that be? You know, would I live? It'd be in the desert. Would I get killed? Would I be able to communicate with them? You know, what would I see? You know, yeah. and it's weird. You would just... Human life is brutal and was always brutal. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it dried, I, I read this great article recently where it's talking about how hard it was if you lived in, like, rural France, like, in the 1300s. How, like, the odds of starving to death were, like, you know, four to one... You know, everyone had dysentery, everyone had parasites, you know, your teeth were rotting out, you know. It was not like the golden era that, like, people make it out to be. It was mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. fucking hard life. Um, and we're so blessed right now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would, man. I'm not... It's weird. Time travel... You know, I, I you know people are like, oh, I'd like to go see Jesus. Maybe I would go for the fucking future. <laughs> just yeah, to, yeah. I was you know, just maybe that. that's you know, that, you know, and see what the fuck plays out. And if I could return from the present, just seeing the future and kind of know where we're going, it can help me plan accordingly. Yeah, I guess I, even if like the future changed by me like having awareness, yeah, I might go. I might go take a look at twenty five years from now. Twenty five years. Yeah, I would. man, I would probably just go twenty five hundred years. I don't know. It would accelerate so much; it might not even make sense to you. Oh man, it, that would it be might wild. be useless. Yeah, they was looking at like a cave. This man. is the hardest level in the game, by the way. This is this, this is, is right here. Oh, now we gotta watch, dude. Actually, I, I kind of like the graphics. Mm, they're fun. Yeah, I like them. They've grown on me. I like the top down stages more. I think. If I could get another shield here. Hold on. Here's the blinking one. Okay, that's good. That means I re up my shield. So we got a little rain left here. Making it rain, baby. Making it rain, bitches. Well, John, you certainly are a good uh, Nintendo player. I'll give you that. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. It used to be. Like, it's not worth it. That's fun. That's a, I miss this game. I miss playing it. I have a lot of good memories of playing it with my sisters. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what are your sisters doing right now, John? What do you think they're wearing, John? Um, I, mean, I don't think about those kinds of things, man. Okay. Not into that shit. <laughs> Told you, man. I never Dude, really got into suspended you, from school. You are uh, good at this game. I have one more level after this. I might be able to beat it. Much, much Really? Much better than I am. Well, you never play this shit. I know. I, I usually suck at new games. Yeah. Or even games I know. Sometimes. I'm pretty good at Battletoads. Are you? Yeah. Well, that's where you play it. That's one of the games. Some patterns. You care about other things, Bob. Like running and... Get, yeah, and bringing it back. Having a meaningful existence. Trying. That's for another time, everybody. Talk about that later. Bob is conquering demons. Uh, Talk about yes! mob demons. Yes! Uh -huh. So going to the future, 25... Yeah, it's kind of hard to talk about the future. Who fucking knows what's going to happen? It's either, you know, the apoc apocalyptic future, a slow-going future, something kind of similar to this, or a drastically different future. Oh, man, i tell you what. Will the Chinese be in charge? My, and will everyone be, like, gay and gender fluid, too? That's another question. Mm, let's hope so. The, the former, at least. 
doubles your chance for a date, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. That's your thing, people. Yeah, you me and John were people. talking. It's uh, it doesn't separate much from this from being like a like a YouTube video from a Pornhub video. You know, just uh, taking out the old shirts and ah, uh, letting stuff happen naturally. Ah, uh, what we got? What are you saying? No, yeah, are you not going to make well, it? We want people to, no, we want people to want to see the video, man. They want to think of us. Well, it's just a different audience. Actually, it's probably just the same audience. Because people probably just go straight from YouTube to Pornhub, handle their business, and go right back to YouTube, right? <laughs> we can do that. Or work, or, you know, yeah. the operating room. Yeah. I want to know how many, like, doctors have masturbated at work and then done surgery later that day. You know someone has got to have done it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I gotta fight the sun right now, and man. Stressed out doctor. This is a tough villain. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. If, I don't know. That'd make a cool oh, tattoo. Oh, dude, I just lost my shields. We're dude, in trouble. I just thought We're, of my uh, new tattoo. Hold on, hold on. My only hope is to get that little fucking thing. Okay. John, we see that three-eyed sun tattoo. Both of us. Yeah. On the arm. Yeah, there's no chance of winning now. That sun, the sun is gonna just no, kick my No, you're good. Ass. You're good. When you're good, you're good, dude. No, well, well, I mean, I like how it's like little ghosts, <laughs> like little ship ghosts. Yeah, but there's like no way to like. It's like bye bye. Oh, it reminds shit. me of Roger Rabbit when they die and they're like a little turn into a little ghost. Yeah. I can't. Ladies can't. and gentlemen, we are filming that a, is, at a brothel. Man. It's tonight. been fun, guys, but the sun has killed me. And that's another video. That's well, the only flaw with that game is once you die, like you can't, yeah. you're dead. Yeah. And that's a stinger for the Nintendo yes, Entertainment guys, System. guys, thank you for watching me play. And this is John. Hit thumbs up if you like Stinger. Is a good game. We recommend that you. Uh, Purchase that on uh, eBay or whatever, and uh, wish you well, planet Earth. Um, Wishing well. If someone in the future, 25 years from now, watches this video, uh, you know, um, we lived well. I, mean, I got back... some questions, you know, like we... what's what's medical yeah. care like? What's uh, what's education yeah. like, man? I mean, are, are we dating robots yet? Is anyone who's we already the... are dating robots? Uh, who's the first guy that like officially left his wife and tried to marry? Like, you know, it's is probably already been done. Yeah, people married. Like sex dolls. Oh, God. Okay, so, well. Speaking of sex dolls, I got one on order. And mm. so check out my Pornhub channel where I'll be doing an unboxing and a demonstration on that next week. Mm. Till then, everybody, Bob, sign yeah. up. Later. And John.